Welcome back everybody. I am doing this super simple um, shaker slash gift card um, for like birthday or even just this could even be a really cute mini album. And um, I know it looks super easy. You could do this by eye, but I'm still going to give you the measurements anyway, um, just to make it easier. So as you could see, I just added a little vellum shaker and I had just done a vellum shaker on my last project and I kind of um, matched up these with this line, which I'm using, as you've seen before, um, it's Simple Stories, Magical Birthday. I love this, um, and I barely have any papers left, so um, I'm using my scraps, and this is kind of what I came up with. So as you can see, it's just a little shaker and super simple. You open it and just add whatever you want. And again, if you use this as a mini album, you could add like a little pocket here and, um, you know, this is just to hold the gift card and um, you could put something back here. But I did, I kept this kind of plain because um, when you have the closure, it's going to stick out there. So if you don't mind something, um, but I mean, I would think that's where you could probably tuck in your letter or something like that. So um, you can see the technique I use, which is pretty much like my other tutorials, but um, this is basically for like the measurements. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to need is a paper sized at four by eight. And we are going to score at the eight inch side at um, three and a half inches. And that's gonna be our main fold. So at the three and a half inch mark right here, just scoring it once. Okay, and at this point, decide which way you want your paper to flip. So I want mine to um, flip like this. That part's easy. And um, if you don't have double-sided paper and this sticks out, so um, this actually had a print that was kind of like messed up, like it would look like this. So what I had done is I actually covered this. So, so that's all you have to do is measure this out. So if you're covering this, um, this flap right here, this is going to be at um, four and a half inches. So um, let me just write that down for someone that may not see. So that's gonna, ooh, that looks terrible. So four and a half inches is this little area here if you need to cover that. Um, and it actually makes it a lot more stable because this is actually really um, solid because I had doubled the layer up. I'm not gonna do it for the tutorial because I don't wanna torture you guys with such an easy thing. So, okay. And then um, of course you're gonna need a little shaker. I didn't measure it, I just really just eyeballed it. Um, I took vellum, made the shaker and um, added a little bling on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for something right now. I guess, uh, I don't know if this is, that's actually too big. I'm trying to see which side is not metallic thready messed up. So I'm gonna go with this side. Yeah, metallic? The red is not easy to work with. I have a hard time doing it. That's why I don't always do it. So I'm just gonna use that. Okay, let me see how this looks. Let me cut this thread off. This is actually a last minute tutorial. I was doing, um, I was really cleaning my scraps up and I found this and I ended up crafting again. Okay, so next we're going to, for a gift card holder, um, we're gonna need a, a three and seven eighth paper by four inches. And we're gonna score it at half an inch or three inch. And this is such a weird measurement because I measured it exactly so that it kind of wouldn't like interfere with everything. So go ahead and grab your paper. And if I can find mine, that'd be great. Okay. So at the three and um, seven eighth of an inch mark, so right here, Okay, we're gonna score it at half an inch and three inches. Okay, and that is going to be our little folds right there. So, this is how we're gonna fold it inside. 
So yeah, it was three and seven eighths because I think the way that a gift card would fit in there. So somehow I got that measurement. I can't even remember. So go ahead and glue that on. But this is just a really fun, like simple project and a different way to make a card with like a little gift card holder. Cause you can make the pockets, but this is nice too. And I always come up with these things as I go along from another tutorial and I kind of continue it in a different one because it's kind of fresh in my mind. So boom, right there is just our stuff. And then I just added all my little rads in there. So where is my shaker? Okay, so my shaker is right here. And you can just glue that on right now just to speed it up. I'm just going to add a glue dot and stick it on there. So I'm going to actually, um, ooh, losing everything. I'm going to actually put this aside just a little bit so I have room for my, um, for my little brad right there. So I see a lot of things are going to be opening up soon, which is crazy. I mean, I know we have to eventually get immune to all this stuff, but, um, just happening so fast. Okay, I'm gonna add my little bread. I'm in Atlanta, by the way, so that's probably why. They are really all about just going full force with this. So hopefully it turns out okay in this. I wish for everyone to be overreacting with um, everything, but I don't know. So we will find out. So there's the bread right there. And then I just kind of eyeball it and put the other brad over there. It's coming out so cute already. Okay, and then I'm just going to eyeball it right here and hope that it is going to look good for me on camera. But you can see that you can make this a mini album, right? In like a different way. So voila, and then this, and I stuck a sticker and that's not very clean or pretty, sorry about that. And then I just took my twine. I'm sorry, the twine takes so long. If you make it this far to the video, thanks. <laughs> because it's like a struggle every time I take these things out and just cut off way too much string and I just wrap it around once because it's so small you don't want it to be all crazy so that is it it is literally it took me a minute so how pretty is that to give this to someone I mean and think about it like during the holidays or Valentine's Day this will be great um during christmas and all that and also i was going to say if you want and like you don't have anything to tuck in um you can just like uh glue that down so it's just flat like that and it can be just look like a card like i don't think anyone would realize that there's a gift card in here so well they'll feel it but um but anyways thanks you guys i hope you like this fun really quick tutorial